So in this last video on this glove pattern, the fifth way to knit these gloves, um, we've gone through the fingerless mitts, the fingerless gloves with finger gussets on them, the full finger gloves, and then the full mittens. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to add a mitten flap to a fingerless glove so that you can turn it into a convertible mitten. So we see here we have a fingerless glove, but if your fingertips are cold, you can flip this flap around and turn it into a mitten. So what I'm going to show you how to do is add this flap and you can add this to the fingerless mitts like I've done here. These are the ones without the finger gussets with just the open stretchy end, but I've added a mitten flap to those as well so they can convert into mittens. Or you can put it on what I have here, which is the fingerless glove with the actual separate finger gussets. So let's look at how we do this. Now, In I already have one of these completed, and you see I have the mitten flap on this side. So this is going to be my left-handed glove. So to make the right-handed glove, I need to make sure I put the mitten flap on the opposite side of the glove so we don't end up with two left hands here. So the pattern tells you to use a crochet hook. Now you are going to do a little bit of crocheting in this pattern. Um, you're going to use this crochet hook to pick up some stitches across the back, and then you're going to use this later on to add a little loop so that you can hold the mitten flap back with a button. I'll show you how to do that here in a bit as well. So it tells you to attach your yarn about four inches from the cuff. So I've already done that on this one. I want to make sure I get this one in the same spot. So I'm going to just start it here where this gray is. And we're going to pick up 22 stitches across the back of this glove. Okay. So first off, we'll pick up these stitches. I am going to take my yarn here. And we have Nessie here trying to help me. And I'm going to stick my crochet hook through the stitches on the edge of this glove. Now you see these are knit stitches, so they are they make these neat little V's across through here. What I'm going to do is just stick my crochet hook on the very edge stitch here, right underneath both legs of that V. Okay, and then I'm going to take my yarn, just hook it with my crochet hook, and pull it through and just pull up a little loop. And I'm going to leave that on my hook. I'm not going to do anything with it for right now. I'm just going to pull up a loop and leave it there. Then I'm just going to work my way across the entire length of this glove. Okay. So I'm going to leave my tail in, just dragging here. I'm going to kind of hold my working yarn up out of the way. And I'm going to take my crochet hook and stick it underneath both legs of that next V. Hook my yarn, pull up a loop. And then just work my way across. Go to the next V. Pull up another loop and just keep moving across this line. Now, it is a little easy to kind of get crooked as you're going across through here and kind of get your line off. Make sure you're going across the exact same row all the way across and that you don't end up, you know, going at a diagonal. So just take your time, make sure you're moving across the same row. Sticking the crochet hook under and pulling up another loop. I'll continue to do this and then I'll meet you back here in a few minutes and show you what the next step is. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we've got our 22 stitches on our crochet hook here. And make sure that when you're picking up these stitches that you're not picking up all the way through to the other side of the glove because that'll just seal your glove off and you won't be able to get your fingers in. Make sure you're just picking up from this this side. I'm now going to take one of my double pointed needles and just slip these 22 stitches over onto my double pointed needle. 
Now you certainly could use your double point needles and just pick up stitches as if you're picking up to knit. I just find the crochet hook a lot easier when you're working on a, a flat surface like this. So I'm getting all these stitches moved over, all 22 of them. All right, oops. So I've got my 22 stitches on here. And now what I'm going to do is cast on an additional 22 stitches so that I have 44 stitches for the whole round, just like we had for knitting our body of our glove. So to cast on these stitches, I'm just going to hold my needle, take my working yarn, and I'm going to kind of twist it around my fingers and then stick my needle through the loop that's formed when I twist it around and then just tighten it up. Let me show you that again. Kind of hold it in my hand here, twist it around my fingers, and then stick my needle through the loop and tighten it up. And I'm going to do this for 22 stitches. So there's four, five, six, seven, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, so now I have 44 stitches in total on this needle. All right. So I'm going to flip this around, put it into my, my left hand here, pick up my other two needles here, and slip these 22 extra stitches that I made off onto these two other needles. And we're essentially going to join in the round then and then start knitting in the round so we make our mitten flap here. Okay, so let me slip these over. Okay, there we go. So then I'm gonna just kind of tuck the fingers of this glove out of the way bring my needles around and I'm going to join here and start knitting in the round. Now on the side where you are connected to the glove, this first side here, the first needle, you're just going to knit these in stockinette, which means you're just going to knit because we're knitting in the round. It'll just be knit stitches. When you get to the second half of this round, for the first part of this, you're going to knit this in two by two ribbing. So. We're going to join in the round here. Make sure our stitches aren't twisted. And I'm just going to knit this this first half of the glove here just straight across. And these picked up stitches can sometimes be a little twisted. So if you have a hard time getting your needle into it, if you knit it through the back loop, sometimes it's easier just because of the angle that the stitch was when you picked it up. At least for that first round. And then after that, you can just knit regularly. So I'm just knitting across the front of this, front of this glove, the first half of the round, the first half, 22 stitches. So that's all the stitches off of that first needle. That's the first half of the stitches. So when I spin around to go to this next needle, this is the second half. So this is where we are going to start knitting in the two by two rib. My needles are kind of twisted here. Okay, there we go. 
So starting on the second half, I'm going to start by doing two by two rib. Now these stitches, because we cast them on kind of an odd way, they may be a little tight to get into, so you might have to fiddle with them here a bit. Just to get started. So we're going to do two, two by two ribs. So there's the first one. And knit the second one. And then we're going to switch and do purl. And this first row is going to look a little loose at first, but it will tighten up as we can do this ribbing. So we just continue knit two, purl two across this second half. The first half you just straight knit across and then you do your ribbing on the second half, the knit two, purl two. You do this for a total of one and a half inches. And then after that, you will knit all the stitches in stockinette for another half an inch. So we'll do this pattern of knit straight across the front and then two by two rib on the other half for one and a half inches and then switch to just plain stockinette for another half an inch. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you back here and show you how we finish off the end of this mitt. Okay, so here we are in the pattern. We have attached our yarn. We have knitted in the round with stockinette on the first half and then two by two rib on the second half. We did that for an inch and a half and then we switched to stockinette and knitted for another half inch. So our total mitten flap area here is about two inches. Okay. The next step of this, we are going to start decreasing. So let's look at our finished product here. We have our, our first two inches here, and then we are going to start shaping the top of the mitten flap. We're going to just decrease on either side. So to do this, it's just a two row repeat. The first row, we are going to slip, slip, knit the first two stitches. So slip, slip, and then put our needle back in and knit those two together through the back loop. Then we knit to the end of this first half. So we're gonna go to the end of the 22 stitches here. And then when we get to the end of this first half of the stitches, we're going to decrease again. Now the slip slip knit makes a left leaning decrease. So the stitches kind of slant to the left. When we get to this other side, we're going to do a knit two together, which will cause the stitches to lean toward the right. So we'll get that kind of tapering effect that leans toward the right so that our sides kind of converge in the middle. So we're in our last two stitches. We are going to put our needle through both of them at the same time which is a little difficult to do sometimes, and just knit both of those together. Then on the second half of the stitches, we're just going to repeat the same thing. We are going to do slip, slip, knit for that first two stitches. So you put your needle in, slip it, put the needle in, slip the next one, and then stick your left needle back in and knit those two together through the back loop. And then we just continue knitting this second half of the round until we get to those last two stitches again. And then we'll do the same thing. We will do the knit two together. Now you're not going to do it here. We're not doing it at the end of our first needle that I have because remember we have our second side of stitches broken up on two needles. So we don't do the, the decrease here. We're going to move to the next needle and do it at the end of the round, not the end of the needle. 
so that we just continue knitting. And then when we get to our last two stitches of this half of the mitten, we will knit those two together. So just stick our needle through those two stitches. and knit them together. Then the second row of this repeat is you just knit all stitches in stockinette. So we're just going to do straight knitting all the way around the row. And that is the repeat. So you'll do one row where you decrease at the beginning of the first half of stitches and then decrease at the end of the first half and then repeat that on the second half of stitches. And then your second row is just knit straight across. All the stitches are all the way around the round. You will continue doing this until you have 20 stitches left in the round, which is 10 on the first half, 10 on the second half. And then I will show you how we will close up the end of that mitten. So I'll continue doing this I'll meet you back here when I have decreased down to my 20 stitches in total, and then I will show you how we close up the end of the mitten. Okay, so let's catch up. We've attached our yarn, we've knitted our mitten flap, and I've already closed up the end of it. Now, I used a Kitchener stitch on this, and if you want a review on how to do the Kitchener stitch to close up the end of the mitten, check out my previous video on the full mitten. It's the exact same process to close up that end. So the very last thing we're gonna do before we weave in our ends and attach a little button here, I want to add a loop like we have on this one here. Because what we'll do is then attach a button and then when the mitten flap is not being used, you can just button it down so it doesn't get in your way. So to do that, I'm going to use my crochet hook again and we're gonna just do a simple crochet chain. So to do that, I'm gonna do a slip knot just like that, place it on my crochet hook and tighten it up, and then find kind of the center of your, your end of your flap here. Put your crochet hook underneath one of the V's of the knit stitches, and then hook your yarn, pull it through those V's, and then pull it through your slip knot to secure it in place. And then we're just going to do a chain of 10 stitches. So, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm just going to break my yarn, pull that last chain through, tighten it up, and then I will just use a darning needle and draw that, that end down through. And then I'll show you on this other pair that I have here. About some just red buttons. So I'll just sew a button here at the top of the cuff and then I can just stick my loop around that to hold it in place. And it'll be held in place whenever it's not in use. So there you go. There is your convertible mitten.